the screen. Turn on your phone. Turn on your laptop. We watching Bless Roll. Bless Roll Show. Look is what she like to do. Stay here if you like it too. Turn up your cell phone. We watching Bless Roll. Bless Roll Show. Hi everybody! Welcome to Blessed Row Cooks. You are in the right place at the right time because today I am going to be preparing this brown sugar double glazed ham. I'm going to put a twist on it. It's going to be so good. If you have never tried this ham, go buy you one and follow my recipe and you will not regret it. This ham actually comes with this packet of brown sugar glaze. Um, it tells you what's inside of it. Brown sugar, fructose molasses, spices, that's what it says. These hams are suggested to be heated from 10 to 12 minutes per pound. One thing you do not want to do is you do not want to overcook the ham. You do want to get the internal temperature to 140 degrees. If you have an internal thermometer, you can use that. Uh, you can take it out at 135 and it'll continue to rise until it gets to 140. But definitely do not overcook this ham. You don't want to dry it out. My ham weighs approximately 10 pounds. And um, that's it, it was 228 a pound. This is my tag, got it from Walmart. I'm gonna heat this ham for 10 minutes per pound. This is how my ham looks when I first put it in the pan. I'm getting ready to put it in the oven. The temperature is going to be on 325 degrees Fahrenheit. And I'm going to cook it for approximately an hour and 40 minutes. I am also going to cover it with aluminum foil for the first part of the cooking. While the ham is cooking, I'm going to go ahead and make my glaze. I am actually going to use the pack of glaze that came with the ham. But my twist is I'm going to add some orange juice, some pineapple juice, and some brown sugar. So I'm going to take these and put them together inside my saucepan and I'm going to let it come to a ball and then I'm going to let it simmer until it reduces to a thick glaze and I'll show you what I'm talking about. After I put the glaze on the ham, I put the ham back in the oven, uncovered to finish. 
The ham is finished. It was so good. My family really loves this ham. I hope you give it a try. Thank you so much for joining me today. Have a blessed and beautiful day. And don't forget to always put God first in everything you do.